Lesson 7-6, the Triangle Proportionality Theorem. We kind of already did this, but not really. Uh, I've been teaching it in class and not too worried about the fact that I haven't really been accurate. Um, I said we already did this. The last time we did, that was a midpoint. Or actually, mid-segment, I should call it. And it cut it into two congruent pieces and then everything was proportional. Well, now we just know that it's parallel. And then it's fairly simple. 10 to 2, call this 3. This is x. Well, you know that 10 over 2 equals x over 3. x equals 30 over 2 equals 15. And you could check this by saying is 10 over 12 equal to 15 over 18? And the answer is yes. I always get 5 sixths. So it works. Uh, there's a proof to the theorem. Write the ratio of the two similar triangles. And this is something you could try if you want, if you want to pause the recording. I uh, will do it right now. Oh, we actually labeled this differently. Now I'm going to leave my labels the same. And I'm going to mix these up. So AC equals AB plus BC. And ratio of the two similar triangles would be uh, we'll do um, a little to big. BC over AC equals CD over CE. And then we have to do the other side. We're not calling it that. We're calling it AE. And that equals AD plus DE. So we're going to sub in number two for number one, where it says AC will put in AB plus BC, and where it says CE, that's wrong, that's very annoying, BC over AC equals CD, oh, that's wrong down here. This is CE and CD. What a mess. But still, depends when I can't see what I'm doing. So we'll write in CD plus DE on the bottom, CD on the top. And we can rewrite it with the property of proportions. Uh, we can flip all this first off, move them all up and down so that we get AB plus BC over. BC equals CD plus DE over CD. And we've done this before. I'll turn this around just because it looks the same over here. Oh, I had it right. Oh, no, I didn't. We know that AB now over BC equals DE over CD. AB over BC equals AB over BC, CD over DE over CD. So there it are. There you are, certain pieces of the triangle matchup. If I moshed all that up, then don't worry about it. You've done it before. You can do it again. We also did something like this before. Except these were evenly spaced. And they're not now. But the same things apply. This is 2 and this is 6. This is 3. This is x. Well, 2 over 6 equals 3 over x. x equals 9. So it's, again, the same thing. I nearly forgot. These all have to be parallel. Same idea. This one is totally out of left field, at least so it seems. It's interesting. Got a triangle here. 
and I split it with an angle bisector. And these are not similar triangles. A question came up recently, are they similar? And no, they are not. It's an angle bisector, so angle one is congruent to angle two. Turns out it sets up proportionalities. Call it X, call it 12, call it 14, call it seven. 12 over X equals 14 over seven. X equals six. To prove that's very challenging, we have to extend the triangle out and extend the sides and we'll see where you have similar triangles, but these are not similar. I have A, B, C, and D. Triangle A, B, C is not similar to triangle D, B, C. Among other things, it has the same middle piece and scaled other pieces, so it can't be. Uh, you might remember side angle side, but that would have to be up here to be side angle side similarity. It's not the included angle. So that's it. Try some problems. Good luck.